Hey guys, welcome back to Hardware Unboxed. Now, before I get into this video, let's just adjust any expectations you might have. And let me say that this is not a Ryzen benchmark video, unfortunately. That is still coming and you won't have to wait too long for it, but yeah, not today. Still, that is not stopping AMD from creating even more hype, if that's even possible at this point. If you type the word Ryzen into the YouTube search, you'll be hit with page after page of clickbait titles and highly speculative videos based on guesswork or leaks slash made up information. Some of it has been fun though, and some of it has been quite accurate, but a lot of it has just filled a slow news week. So while we can't bring you the benchmarks yet, and I know that's all you guys really want to see at this point, at least we can set the record straight. Okay, so one figure which has been floating around since mid-2015 or thereabouts has been that Zen, now known as Ryzen, will offer a 40% bump for instructions per clock when compared to Excavator. For those of you unaware, Excavator is the latest and most refined version of the original bulldozer architecture. This claim was of course originally made by AMD, and it was repeated just a few months ago in a keynote titled A Path to Zen. Many had theorised that a 40% improvement would still see AMD fall quite short of Intel's latest Skylake and KB Lake architectures, and would even put them a reasonable margin behind Broadwell. Well, prepare to recalculate as AMD is now stating IPC gains of more than 52% when compared to Excavator. More than 52%, wow. Of course, that is according to AMD, but given what they have shown us so far, I'm not at all sceptical about the claim. I'm also sure that many of you have already seen the leaked information for the Ryzen 3, 5 and 7 series processors. The leaks have been well documented and I can confirm at least at this point that the information for the Ryzen 7 desktop processors is correct and they will be launched globally on March 2nd. Right now AMD is taking pre-orders from more than 180 global e-tailers and boutique OEMs. Anyway, the Ryzen series will include the 1800X, 1700X and 1700, all of which are 8 core 16 threaded processors with a whopping great 16 megabyte level 3 cache. Also, these processors will comprise of over 4.8 billion transistors. The leaked pricing information was also very accurate. The Ryzen 7 1800X will set you back $500 US, half that of the 6900K. The 1700X is a good bit cheaper at $400 US and is therefore priced alongside the 6800K. And finally, the vanilla 1700 model will sell for just $330 US, which makes it slightly cheaper than the 7700K. Interestingly, AMD has made a bold claim that the Ryzen 7 series will offer the fastest eight core desktop processors on the market. Very bold claim indeed, and I'm keen to verify if this is true or not very shortly. Backing up those claims, AMD showed the flagship Ryzen 7 1800X outperforming a similarly configured 8-core 16-thread Intel Core i7 6900K system in the Cinebench R15 multi-threaded test, a handbrake-based video transcoding test, and also showed comparable 4K gaming performance. The 1800X, which is the flagship model as I just mentioned, comes clocked at 3.6 GHz with a turbo boost frequency of 4 GHz, and this is a 95 watt TDP part. Out of the box it was shown to be scoring 1619 points in Cinebench R15's multi-threaded test, which is an impressive score given my stock Core i7-6950X, which is a 10-core 20-thread processor, scores just over 1800 points. However, more relevant is the 6900K, which features the same core and thread count. It scores just shy of 1600 points in my test without any overclocking. That said though, AMD did show a score of 1474 points for the 6900K, but in any case the Intel processor costs twice as much and at best delivers similar performance. Then we have the 1700X, which comes clocked at a base frequency of 3.4 GHz with a turbo boost speed of 3.8 GHz, and again this is another 95 watt TDP part. AMD showed this processor producing a multi-threaded Cinebench R15 score of 1537 points, while the 6900K in their test was good for 1474 points, and the 6800K just 1108 points. The 1700X also produced the same 162 point single threaded score as the 6900K. So based on this, the $400 1700X should perform roughly on par with the $1050 1600K while dusting the $430 6800K. Finally, the 1700, the non-X model, is a 65 watt TDP part that comes clocked at 3GHz for the base and 3.7GHz for the turbo frequency. 
It scored 1,410 points in the Cinebench R15 test, which is quite a bit better than the 7700K, which scored just shy of 1,000 points in its out-of-the-box configuration. AMD will also launch the fancy-looking Wraith Spire, a new cooling solution for select Ryzen processors. Anyway, for today's soft launch, because that's essentially what it is, it's a soft launch, we're giving some details for a couple of the higher end processors. Uh, there also is some useful or interesting Cinebench scores included, uh, but more importantly we have stuff like the operating frequencies and pricing. Well, it was very nice to see some confirmed Cinebench R15 results, and I'm sure with just one week to go before the release or thereabouts, AMD won't be misleading us with any numbers. We don't have too long to forget any claims at this point. The confirmed pricing info was also great, and I can't wait to see how Intel reacts to all this. Well, that's pretty much it for now. I know these teaser type videos are getting a bit painful at this point, but like I said, at least we could confirm a few things, even if they were all pretty well sussed out at this point. I'm your host Steve, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. I'm serious, don't go anywhere. Except for you, you can get out of here.